Aloha, I'm Michael Stelsner, skipper here at Tiki Tiki Bang Bang, and welcome to Shaken the After Party. If you haven't checked it out yet, please check out the full episode featuring us here on the channel. But if you have, welcome back. I'm going to be teaching you today how to make our house planter's punch. Though it is a classic recipe, the planter's punch isn't so much a recipe as it is a formula. And it's a very versatile formula, in fact, that anyone can take and anyone could embellish upon on their own. The formula is very simple. It's one sour, two sweet, three strong, four weak. I'm gonna demonstrate how we use this formula to make our house planters punch, how you can make our house planters punch. So for us, that one that is sour, we're going to use lime juice. One part for us is going to be three quarters of an ounce. So I'm just going to start by pouring three quarters of an ounce of lime juice here into my shaker. Now, when it comes to sweet, that could be a multitude of things. It's simply, well, exactly what it says. You could use a cordial, could use liqueur, could simply use a basic sweetener. We actually split our two parts of sweet here between demerara syrup. So we're gonna be using a half ounce of that and falernum, the Caribbean liqueur. We like Maggie's Farm brand. We're gonna be using one ounce of that. Two parts, 1.5 ounces to one part, three quarter ounce. Next comes the strong. Strong is going to be your spirit of choice. We're a tiki bar, we use rum. And once again, we're going to be splitting the base. So we're gonna be using one and a half ounces of Appleton Estate rum here. And then we're going to be darkening that up just a little bit more with three quarters of an ounce of Gosling's Black Seal rum here. Three parts strong. Now you're probably wondering, what the week is for us. Week could be anything. It could be pineapple juice, orange juice, but for us, we actually keep it simple. We're just using water, and that water's going to come from the dilution of the ice, simply from shaking the drink, and simply from it melting over time. Last but not least, we spice things up with a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. I have this nice bamboo Collins mug here. It's absolutely perfect. And I find when it comes to garnishing tiki drinks, you can never get easier than just a mint and a nice little tropical flower. And of course, a bendy straw. Aloha, enjoy.